A family staying just minutes away from the Estumbo fire station mourning the death of a loved one. The family reaching out to Dedito Mayor Melissa Savarez saying when one of their loved ones suffered what appeared to be a heart attack, they called 911 and were told units from the Dedito fire station were responding to another call. So the family forced to wait for a unit from Jigo to come. So what did the, the family members say to you? Uh, just that the medics did take long to respond. This closed down fire station used to service up to 15,000 Estumbo residents. And in the words of Acting Fire Chief Joey St. Nicholas, if you're calling 911 from around here, you can go ahead and expect emergency responders to show up at least 15 minutes later than they used to. 15 minutes in some cases, life or death. The house we're talking about on Mavini Street is right around the corner. Let's see how long it'll take us to get there from the Estumbo Fire Station. on Mavini Street just a little over two minutes later. The family declining an on-camera interview, instead reaching out to the mayor, saying they did their best to help while waiting for medics to arrive. They started CPR until the medics arrived and in route they know that um, that continued. Savar is now advising residents to take matters into their own hands and drive their family members to the hospital or clinic if they're having an emergency. Now with no sign of the Estumbo station reopening, even though a solution to the GovGuam budget crisis was found, Savar is also worried that a high fire danger rating puts Estumbo residents in even more danger. The homes in the area are semi-concrete, some wooden tin, uh, they can go up in flames. So the response time again, it, it, you know, being windy and dry, uh, we know how fast fire spreads. A people living near the station telling us GFD personnel usually come at night, but they don't turn on the lights. And one fireman told me GFD firemen stationed there feel like security guards. Now, does Savaris think an increased response time had something to do with the tragedy this family is now facing? It could have. You know, I don't know if the family waited till it was too late to call. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, and, and only God knows what happened. This man lives across the street from the closed down fire station, and he had a simple message for elected leaders. If I were the governor, they should wake up and really think twice. Leave this fire station open. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.